If you ain't show up on my platform, and I'm telling this to every artist, you ain't show up on my platform, you ain't want to answer the questions, when I start calling your album a flop, don't ever talk to me. I don't want to talk to you after this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure niggas know your shit flop. You know why? Because you ain't tapping with big fucking act. So it finally seems that DJ Academics is done with these rappers, and he's definitely fed up with the malarkey that they be pulling. And it all started about a week ago when he asked Coyle Ray to do his interview of Off The Records, which she did decline, but she went on to do a Breakfast Club interview. And you can tell based off that whole situation, Academics, he really felt a type of way. The way I, I just want to point out, I reached out to Coyle Ray for her to be on the podcast. I think she was not interested. She wasn't responding. She saw it too. Nothing, nothing wrong with her. Well, not doing my podcast or whatever. Um, I did find it ironic because she gladly ran to the Breakfast Club. People haven't really acknowledged, and this is where I'm going to get into because I want artists. I want to hold every artist. When will artists hold themselves accountable? Because you flex on regular folks all day. You talk it when you want to but when you flop you want us to look at some other shit which also still don't look good because social media artists like Coley Ray and others are really looked at by older media as like a joke like they will only report what you do because they have to they really never acknowledge the music or probably don't even listen to it and a lot of these radio stations like a hot 97 would rather interview somebody like a Pusha T who more so fits their demographic rather than having Coley Ray and if you watch the breakfast club interview you could tell there's a lack of respect there for her especially with Charlemagne because he's blunt about it and he hold back no punches to whereas with academics he always had a soft spot for these artists he will always defend them and give them a fair chance as as long as they kept dropping music and staying on their grind and he was really like one of the first big platforms to give light to this new generation of these social media artists so you can see why academics he really felt like it was a slap in the face when she declined his interview and at first i was thinking like why are you taking this so personal why he's so mad about this but i had to see it from his point of view because for so many years even though academics he really been a big platform for a while that same respect for him hasn't been matched by these rappers even a couple months ago when he went on a rant about these chicago artists not doing an interview with him because before they was even famous rappers and little to nobody was covering them academics was one of the first big platforms to give them light and constantly cover what they do on a daily basis audience don't realize is that the majority of rappers do not respect yo child i can tell you right now nigga how long think about it how long i done covering chief keith nigga i dm chief keith last night i said chief keith i gotta get you an episode nigga he left me on red nigga that's a fact he left me on red so for everybody who be saying blah blah, blah you should do it my nigga, I DM Chief Keef. Like My nigga. Said. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is that I DM'd them for an episode. Everybody else in this industry, I've helped. I've built their career. I've built mystique around them. Called them the fucking biggest demon that's ever lived on earth. <laughs> Bro. You <laughs> don't even matter. But I've built all that. And you know what they did? They did a bunch of shows. They got a lot of money. And when if I ever say, yo, hey, could you just do an interview with me? Bro, they get weird. Chief Keith let me on all up red. That's facts. I DM them. I said, please, could I'll come to California, whatever the case is. We don't got we could talk. Whatever you don't want to talk about is cool. Bro, we ain't answered. That's cool. So academics going on a tirade about this is not new. And it didn't just start with Coily Ray. he had been on this type of timing for a while since his podcast started. And I ain't gonna lie, for Coily Ray's sake, this not a good position to be in. When you're not that hot as an artist or doing big numbers and can't even sell over 10k in the first week, you better do your best to keep good relationships with the media outlets because they'll be the ones keeping you relevant and trust me they're way more valuable than you think, especially DJ Academics. Because if he don't like you then you flop then he posts them on his page, you better prepare for the worst because this comment session will embarrass you. Just look at Young Bands, look at Quando Rondo, look at Little Reese, even though him and Little Reese didn't have no issues. But regardless, Academics he is right about this whole situation right here and he definitely deserves more respect because this brand alone have way more impact on the culture than just one rapper and it's about time these media personalities start putting their foot on rappers necks because i'm tired seeing these rappers not even the lit rappers it'd be the washed up ones that be thinking they could just overrun and step on these media outlets and that'd be really confusing me the most because you would think rappers like that would be showing the media outlets 
the most respect but that just show you how much of a lack of self-awareness that these rappers be having and this should be a wake-up call right here if you're an average selling artist even a lit artist besides drake kendrick and j cole and kanye west i'll throw travis in there too but if you ain't one of them you're not above rap like your music ain't bigger than the culture and we need to see more rappers with huge egos get humble but these are my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation right here be sure to leave yours in the comment section down below and let me know if you think what academics said he was right or wrong in the situation but be sure to like comment and subscribe have a nice day you ain't tapping with big act we finna clown you to oblivion if you don't want to be clown tapping with big act i just want to tell y'all about y'all favorite rapper your favorite rapper i hit up and i said yo you need big act you know what they said we don't need big act you know what i said i see you on the fucking charts you know what they said to me you're right <laughs>